Today we're going to do the analysis of a curved beam with traparized uh, uh, cross section like this, 1.5 inches in this length, 0.5 inches in the other uh, width, and 2 inches in the height. The interior dia radius is 8 inches, and because we have 2 inches in thickness, here is going to be um, this length is going to be, or this radius is going to be 10 inches. So from here to the middle midpoint. Uh, is going to be nine inches, which is which I'm going to use. The loading condition for this curved beam is going to be 7,200 pound inches, symmetrical, and we have this uh, condition at point uh, in the center, which we're going to try to find out the stresses in the interior and and the other um, surfaces of this beam. I'm going to use beam 189 as the element for this analysis, and for this beam element, for the, for this beam element, I'm going to need to apply the section, uh, which is the cross section of the beam. However, in the standard or common uh, cross sections, which are defined by ANSYS for beams, traparized uh, cross section is not standard or defined. So what I'm supposed to do is to define this area of before and then go and um, do the uh, analysis of the beam. The other thing I want to mention in here is that if I do this thing, if I do, if I apply or do the modeling of the beam and apply these uh, moments at these two ends, ANSYS is not going to solve this analysis for me because uh, it's going to consider consider this model as not properly constrained or defined. So what I'm what I will be doing in my analysis is after I uh, draw the beam as a uh, half circle, I'm going to say there is no motion or displacement at this point, which is the very center point of the beam, and it is, it is reasonable because everything is um, symmetrical. As a result. Um, this point is not going to is not going to undergo any displacements during this uh, uh, loading condition. One other alternative would be probably to define this, apply the moment in here, and fix it at this end, which is not uh, as identical to this model as this would be if I do this analysis. Um, from manual or uh, calculations of this or analysis of this beam, uh, it's been said that the uh, stress condition at point A is 10.6 ksi uh, tensile, and the stress condition at point B is 12.7 ksi compressive, and uh, that's uh, what we're looking for: close or exact uh, solutions for that. With this, let's go to ANSYS and do the analysis. Okay, in ANSYS, the first thing I, I'm supposed to do is to define the model. So I create key points. Uh, the first one is going to be at um, x of minus 1 and y of 0.75. Apply. And then x of uh, 1 and y of 0.25 apply at the x of 1 and the y of minus 0.25 apply and the x of minus 1 and y of minus uh, 0.75 okay so this ar arrangement of key points puts the center point or the origin of the model at the center of um, this uh, uh, area, which I'm going to use later. So I'm going to define four lines, and with these lines, I'm going to create an arbitrary area. Now the next step would be to size uh, the lines. So I'm going to pick these two lines and divide each of them by, um, say, 25 segments and then this one and divided by 10 segments 
and this one and divide it by um, say 18 segments. When I come to uh, sections, beam sections, right from areas and I pick this area, click OK, browse and my documents ANSYS beam sections I'm gonna call it tra trapezoid beam 01 and save OK and close this. Now I can clear everything and um, do the analysis. First thing I want to do is to make sure oh. first thing I want to do is to make sure that I'm doing a structural analysis. Um, something I forgot to do in the uh, in defining the um, cross-section of the beam is to define the units and in inches. Here I'm going to do it but I had I had defined this uh, cross section before with the uh, inches as units, so I can I will choose that one as my um, cross section for this model. So I go to preprocessor and come to here and pick beam 189 as the element from the element type, and then go to material properties, material models, structure, linear. And 2986.27 are the uh, properties for steel. And then I'm supposed to give the uh, uh, define the cross section area. From this point, I can come here in ANSYS. This one is the one that I had defined with inches as the unit. So I select it and leave everything as is. Uh, section origin. I'm I'm uh, choosing this one offset node to section origin, so that um, my coordinate system or or the center line of the beam that I'm that I'm going to be analyze, analyzing is going to sit sit at the origin of the beam as I defined would was at the very center um, of the area. So with that I can. Uh, go ahead and when I'm defining the model I can give the radius of 9 and make it make life easier for me when I'm doing the analysis. Click OK for this one. Come to modeling, create key points in active uh, CS. The first one I want to do is put minus 9 or 0 and 0 for the center point of the beam and then minus 9 for X apply and then 0 and 9 apply and then 9 and 0 OK. Now I need to create two curves or arcs from 2 to 3 OK. This is the center OK and the radius is 9. I apply that one. From 3 to 4 OK pick this one as a center and again the radius of 9 okay so these two are done um, one thing which is optional to do is to uh, join these two lines or add these two lines together you can skip this step but I want to do it and make sure everything is all set I want to add these two lines and delete the existing lines. So I only have one line left. Come to meshing and I want to um, size this line first before meshing it. So I come here, pick lines and let's divide it by 80 segments and let's mesh the line. Okay, I can go to loading now and um, in order to make sure I'm picking the right node, I'm going to come to select entities, nodes by location 
and the location for this node is at x equals 0. So I want to apply displacement on nodes. Pick all because I only picked one node. All DOF is equal to 0. So the center node is uh, not moving to any x or y directions. Now I kinda, I'm going to come here and select everything and define force or um, uh, moment on nodes m of z which is 7200 apply and on this one minus 7200 okay so the model is ready I can come to solution and say solve this one current LS and the solution is done. Coming to general post process the first thing I want to do is to see the deformation of the beam so as you see this is a pretty symmetrical analysis and now I come to um, plot controls style size and shapes in front of, uh, in front of display of element I click this one on and wait, I wait for it. This is the way uh, it looks. So no loss solution, stress in x direction. As you see, goes, but I need to be able to rotate it. So, if, if as you see here, the stress uh, condition at the very interior layer is 9.9.8 ksi, and the stress condition at the very outer layer is minus 13.74 uh, ksi, which is not exactly the values that we got from the uh, manual solution, but it's close enough to make sure that this analysis has been done properly. I can also zoom a little bit and you can see um, the analysis or, or the solution in um, 3D. So this is uh, the interior car section if I go look from front and zoom all, the other thing I can do is to come here and uh, see the transaction vectors, how each node is moving, moving away. If I come to element solution and again do this uh, x component of the element, we're going to see the same result. And the rest of the things like list, resu list results that we can go and find uh, uh, results for for specific nodes or stuff are all available. For example, um, nodal solutions I can do, but we, I have to pick a node first because otherwise there's going to be 80 or 90, 80 or something nodes that uh, for all of them the data is going to be picked or given. Um, or reaction solution if I do, for example, it's going to be like this for, and it's only for this node at the center because that's the only one that we constrained. And the rest of the items are pretty much the same uh, as before. You just have to pick the uh, nodes or elements or or the, the solutions, the results you're looking for and find them. The main uh, goal of making this video was um, one of the requests that I got on YouTube uh, for doing such an analysis of a cur curved beam uh, with traperized cross-section area.